basic of the six step. So I'm going to explain the most fundamental move in breakdancing footwork. Here's how it starts. You are in a push-up position, body straight, feet slightly apart. What you're going to do is bring this right leg in slightly, almost like you're doing a half a mountain climber. Then you're going to step out. This is at about 2 o'clock. Notice my hips are underneath my shoulders. Then you come in behind this bent leg. You want this foot to be underneath your hips, underneath your right butt cheek in this case. Then this leg is going to come out, so like that, and you're going to flip to the other hand, right? Notice in this position, I can sit comfortably. This is very important. So when your legs are behind you, if you were to draw a line horizontally, when your legs are behind this horizontal line, you want them to be straight out. This is a general principle. You don't want your hips to be above your shoulders, okay? And when your legs are in front, you want your at least one leg to be underneath your hip, so you're mobile, okay? So then we come through here. Notice it's exactly the opposite of what we did on the other side. Then you're going to kick out straight, and then come back to this position. This plank position is a push-up position with your legs up, up, across. So now, in, in faster speed, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay? And then you can go the other way. Like that. Alright? So once again, we're here. Common mistakes. You don't want to be, have your hips way up here. It looks ridiculous. You also don't want to end up here. This is another common mistake. Also looks ridiculous if you get a lot of strain on your shoulders. So, looks like this. Slight step up, leg out here on the heel, or on the side of the foot, I prefer the heel. In, right foot under, right butt cheek. Then what we're going to do is switch to the right hand as I bring this leg underneath. Boom. Across, out, and then here we are. Okay, so that's the sixth step. A few other notes. Notice that I'm on the palm of my hands like this. It's because I lack genetically the flexibility in the fingers. If you can take your fingers and bend them back so that they're 90 degrees with this back portion of your hand, it will help you to be up on those, on the pads of the hand. Be careful with your thumbs. You can break your thumbs. But the, that extra three to four inches will make you look better. So it'll elevate your shoulder relative to your hips. Okay, so a few <coughs> embellishments that you can add to the basic six step. So we're here, come here. So you can also jump. So instead of bringing this up and then through, you can jump like this. Okay? So that's a slightly faster version. We're here. You jump straight to this this uh, point where you have the right foot under the butt cheek. Here, here, okay? And then if you speed this up, you end up incorporating a kick through, just like you would if you're doing this type of move. And the way it translates, is it looks like this. faster version, be careful with your wrists. With the basic six step, a few things you can do. So for here, boom. When you get to this position, you can move to either side, which is a lot of fun. So I can throw my weight this way and then walk with very small steps of my feet. Like that. Place and then follow. Like that. Okay? extend one leg, here, you're just going to pivot on this leg, use this hand for a flourish, come over like that, and then go back into the sixth step. So what I mean by that is, okay, back into normal sixth step. Another very easy.
easy embellishment. So, plank position, jump, in, in, through, boom, boom. Now I'm just going to bring, instead of coming here, I'm going to put my left knee down and then follow with my right knee. You'll see what this looks like. And then I'll go right back into six step. basics. What I want to show you now is how you get into the sixth step. So this is going to be the entrance. 